you see in that first clip, there was water coming out both sides here. Uh, it was working yesterday, however, uh, when it was resting, it was just pulsing every so often, which would suggest a, a water leak. So I'm just going to look at taking this apart, see if there's anything easy to fix. Just looking at the back of the machine now, it looks to be at least uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 screws to come out. There will be uh, torque screws, which needs one of these, and that's a T15. So I'll undo these and hopefully be able to split this. And that's the back off the washer, come off no problem. Just this wee filter bit to come off. Just try to put everything safe in here. Other four screws are still within that body. And that should completely remove that cover. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this out of its housing. I think we'll just take this clip out, I think it should just pull out and then we'll just connect it back up to the water and electricity, give it a test. There's the unit out, load of stuff in there, it's hard to tell if anything could come out, could be the pump, could be one of these plastic bits, could be anything but we'll have a look about once we get it wired and plumbed in again. I've uh, just connected up the lance and the water feed. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's actually something just dripping out of that wee section there. Uh, I don't know if that's the problem. I suggest that's an O-ring or something in there, but I'll put the power to it and see how bad it gets. Right, I've plugged it back in for power now. This will be the switch you see in the case normally. I'm probably going to get a soaking, but we'll give this a blast. Right, got a soaking, but it's coming out here big time. If I dare get any closer. Yep, that bit's definitely split in there. The camera's probably soaking now. But if that's all the problem is, not too bad. Well, I think that's pretty conclusive that it's coming out of a wee uh, joint there. Not that you can see it with the naked eye, but it's certainly coming out that way. So I'm just going to take the lance off again. And this bit here, which is the defective part. There we go. I'll never see anything in there, just like a hairline crack or less. There is a number on the side, whether that's a part number, I don't know, but I'll have a wee Google and see if I can get this bit ordered and take it from there. I hope that's all the problem is. Uh, once I get the part, I'll uh, resume this video and uh, hopefully that will resolve the issue. Okay, that's the spare parts arrived. The tube of silicon, the o ring, and that's the new part. That was the existing part, so you can see that it's identical. Even the numbers on the side there are the same, despite this being 4.063. These all seem to tally up here, so I'm just going to get this fitted in there on the main unit. There's the o ring. See it in there, so I take it that's the one to see it replaced. I can't see there being one in here anywhere, so get this one off and replace it with a new one. And hopefully, it's just a case of sticking that one. That's the new o ring one there, a bit of the silicon. To fit this bit back on, just push that in there, turn it, 
that's it fitted. So we'll go and uh, connect up the power and the hose and see if this has worked or not before I put the whole thing back together. Okay, this might be the moment of truth. We've got power, we've got the lands connected, we've got the water reconnected, so try sparking up. <laughs> That's the one now. Nothing dripping out. This is a bit in here, but it was all coming out of before. So, so far, so good, as long as that thing's switched on. It seems okay. Quite happy with that. Simple fix. I think that bit was about 15 quid off eBay. I'll try and find it and post a picture or stick it in the link of the video. But there you go, 15 quid fix. Tail for that. Cheers. Okay, just to show you, there's two wee lugs here on either side, on the bottom side of this as well, and they just like go into these uh, wee locators here. And uh, that wee bit goes in as long as you've got the switch to the off position, that would be on the, the casing. And that wee bit just slides in there, that wee T section. So I'll put it back together. Need to remember to take that filter off the end and feed it back through. I've got to take that pine needles. And then we'll just get the, the case screwed back together with the, the seven screws we took out. Almost missed a trick there. Just to say, the bit that I refitted has got to be pointing down the way, and this is the, the hose attachment that points at the back. That's the Lance one that had the issue, and uh, the hose one will come out the back of that. I installed that, I'd left that sticking up the way, but it should be down the way. Okay, just the final bit of the jigsaw to do it. That's a bit we replaced. It sits and regrooves in there. Fed that pipe back through, stuck the filter on the end, so I'll just screw the casing back together and that should be us. There we go, fit to pressure wash, another day.